If you want to master things like point of interest and spotlight, this is the video you've been looking for. I'm going to go through everything I wish I knew when I start flying the DJI Mini 3 Pro. So now when we have the DJI Mini 3 Pro in the air, the first thing we need to do, that is to mark the subject or the object that we're going to track. So in this case, we can start with me. We drag a rectangle around me and it's going to directly recognize that that's where I am. And now I have different options. We're not going to go through active track in this video. For that, I'm going to link videos in the description box below. In this one, we're first going to go through spotlight and the POI, point of interest, and we're going to see what the difference is between those two modes. If we take spotlight first. Now when I'm selected, the thing with Spotlight is that I can basically fly the DJI Mini 3 Pro and other drones on autopilot. And now it's going to be locked on to me. Like a Spotlight is just going to shine on me. So if I use the drone and I fly to the side, for example, the drone will automatically change its direction so it's aimed towards me. So I don't need to do anything else. It makes it super, super easy to keep me in focus. I can even change the elevation by pushing up and I'm still going to be in focus and I'm going to fly towards the side. Just keep in mind that we don't have any sideways obstacle avoidance sensors. So we don't fly into things like trees, but I can just keep pushing this one on the side. I can go backwards. And the thing is that I can even move myself. Look here. So if I move myself, you're going to track me also from the new position where I am. But in Spotlight, you have to do all the maneuvering yourself. It's just going to keep track of the thing that you have started to keep track on. It doesn't going to move the actual drone by itself. That's why it's called Spotlight. So let's just fly it back. I would like to have it over here. I just fly sideways and forward, like up and to the left. And the drone will automatically focus its camera on me. So we can also change the framing of the shot. Let's take the toggle wheel at the left back here and I can pivot down or I can pivot up. And then you're going to keep that position. So if I pivot down like this, it's going to keep it there. So now if I fly it backwards, you're going to try to keep me in that position in the frame. So I'm going to, I'm going to fly forward again. And as you can see, I'm still at the top part of the frame. And you can't go further than a drone allows you. So if I'm going to pivot up, you're just going to put you to the position, in my case, it's 28 degrees, and then it's not going to, going to go further. And then I can just take down. And if I would like to have it like that, I can just slide towards the side. And it's going to keep me centered in the frame. So this is the basic of the spotlight mode. The spotlight mode can also be used to track a location, a position instead, instead of an object. So for example, if I cancel me, I tap spotlight. Now I'm going to select something in the ground, a location like that. And now if we fly sideways a little bit, keep a close eye on what's going to happen here in the rectangle. Look now, now it changed to location position instead. So now it doesn't gonna care about what's going on there. See if I walk across where that is, where is it? It's up here. There I can just walk through the frame and it won't be disturbed by it. And now I can do the same. So now it's positioned at the side of the frame so I can just keep moving and that's gonna be the spotlight position. If I just fly forward, Take a look at what's going to happen. Now it knows that it can't go further forward because it's just stopped. Now it's going to start to try to pivot around it instead. I still push it forward. Now I have a tree there, so I'm not going to go any further. So the drone is going to do everything it can to keep that position, that location in the shot instead. This is a super powerful feature that you should use more than you do because it's going to unlock possibilities that you have never thought about before. So that is a spotlight mode. Now let's take a look at the point of interest instead. Let's do the same thing. I'm going to select myself. And instead of spotlight, let's take point of interest, POI. 
as you can see it says that the obstacle avoidance sensors are disabled while you are in this feature so just keep that in mind and then we can say okay what side do we want to go left or right slow or fast and i would like to go slow to that side and then i can just tap go and now the drone is going to fly automatically in this direction this is the difference between point of interest and spotlight now it's doing the movement for you instead of you using the spotlight feature and you have to control it by yourself but this is really really cool as well because then you can do something else with your hands and the drone will just go around and you can control how you would like to have it if i would like to increase the elevation i can just push forward then i'm going to use that location instead of to do the same thing and this is also what you can do if you're gonna do something and you would like to have the drone to circle around you while you're moving because it's locked onto me. So I can just move around and the drone will still keep uh, circling around me in this arc that we set in the beginning, but it will also track me. This is a really powerful feature and it unlocks so many possibilities. Okay, I would like to circle that way around. You can just, while you're on it, move this one to the other side. You can say, okay, I would like to go a little faster then it goes faster and when I move the drone will move together with me so you see the possibilities and the power of the point of interest it's just remarkable I just love it and you can also do the same for a position also for point of interest so if I tap out of this one and make sure to stay till then because I'm gonna show you a feature that you might didn't know existed on the drone but that is for the last part of this video so now I'm gonna select a piece of the ground here again and I can select point of interest and I just select what side and turn it would like to take and then go And now it's switched, so it's a position location instead of an object that is trying to track. And the powerful thing with this is that I can move through this uh, area and the drone doesn't really care about it. I can move into the frame again. I just love all these features that we have. And we can also unlock the drone to discover all trackable objects automatically so you can just tap them. And that is not including positions of course because it can basically track every position in the world. So you go into settings on the three dots, go to control and then enable the subject scanning. When we have the subject scanning enabled we can just see all the subjects that the drone believes that it automatically can track and I can just tap it with the plus icon. This is actually another feature that I didn't mention about the spotlight. I can just use spotlight to have the drone positioned where it is and just follow me like this. This is what you also can call a tripod mode that we had in other drones but in the DJI Mini 3 Pro we don't have anything that is called tripod mode it's called spotlight mode but it works the same it's just acting like a tripod and I can just move around like this even if I approach the drone the drone is going to do everything it can to stay there as a tripod and then just track me and keep me in the frame and again I can also reposition myself in the frame. I'm also gonna give you a bonus tip here because when you are doing things like tracking yourself, if I tap myself, because I have the subject scanning enabled, I'm gonna position myself here. And now if I in spotlight mode, gonna manually uh, orbit around me, I push the right joystick to the right, the drone is circling around me, it is a little bit jerky because it tried to track me all the time. If I instead cancel out of that one and I track the ground instead. And I just move to the sides, so we get a position lock like that. If, and then I can position myself. Uh, where is it? And then if I position myself where this location is, 
the orbit is going to be a lot softer because it doesn't need to try to track me anymore. It's just going to track the location and it knows exactly where the location is. So now the orbit is a lot smoother. Try to alter these different kind of tracking features that you have in the drone to get the best footage and the best result. So now it's time for you to do two things. The first thing is to look at that video because I would love to see in that one also. And the second thing is that you should take your DJI Mini 3 Pro out and take it for a spin and practice all of these things that you just learned. Have a good one. Bye.